Good evening and welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Riel Creighton. And I'm Pete Ferryman. First at 5, attorneys for a black food cart owner say the Portland man was beaten because of his race and are now calling for an investigation into the handling of the case. Well, attorneys sent a letter to the Portland Police Bureau and Multnomah County DA's office this week questioning the, quote, timeliness and sufficiency of the government's response. We want to warn you that some of the images in this report are graphic. Foxwell's Will Metzl joins us with more. Will? Darrell Preston suffered severe eye injuries in an attack here on the sidewalk on Southeast Foster Road on June 15th. His attorney is questioning the response to the incident. Griffin Stead Kamer, owner of the truck Mumbo Gumbo on Southeast Foster Road, says the attack suffered by a fellow owner on June 15th was shocking. The attorney for Darrell Preston, owner of Laurel's Chicken Shack, says he was beaten in an attack because of his race. Personally, like, I, I, I mean, I'm just flabbergasted. I don't really know how to handle it. Like, it's kind of never happened here before. Preston's attorney sent us this video of the beating that shows a white man kicking Preston on the ground in an attack she says was unprovoked. According to a GoFundMe page, he suffered a broken nose, fractured face, and cuts to his eyes and mouth. His attorney, Alicia LaDuke Montgomery, sent a letter to both the Portland Police Bureau and Multnomah County District Attorney's Office, informing them she is investigating their response. In a press release, LaDuke Montgomery says in part, we are deeply disturbed by this assault, which has left the community shaken and outraged. We call upon law enforcement to thoroughly investigate this despicable act of violence and bring the perpetrator to justice. She said as of Monday, when inquiring with PPB and the DA's office about the investigation, she received no response. PPB said in a statement to Fox 12 in part, this case has been taken seriously from the first call received by patrol and it continues to be by major crimes. PPB says it is being viewed as a biased crime investigation. Stead Kamer says while still shocked about the incident, he's glad to know Preston is going to be okay. This is like the first day I've seen him back, so I haven't even really talked to him about it. Well, Duke Montgomery told us today that she has been in contact with the district attorney's office. The DA's office says a deputy district attorney has been assigned to this case, but no arrests have been made in the incident. Live in Southeast Portland, Will Metzold, Fox 12, Oregon.